Hey, Coach Joel here. We're going to dive into the Whoop app once more, and we're going to talk a little bit about sleep. So what you see here is my home page. We've kind of gone over this in the past. If you didn't go through the uh, Whoop app tutorial, make sure to go back and check that out or let me know. So what we're going to dive into right now is sleep. So you can see for the night, I got eight hours and 14 minutes of sleep. Now, that doesn't mean much if my sleep is crappy. So when we dive into our sleep stats, we'll kind of find out exactly whether sleep was good or meh. So if we look at these different buttons at the bottom, this is going to highlight or show on our sleep graph what they correlate to. So we have our all stages, right, which is eight hours and 25 minutes in bed, and out of that, seven hours and 37 minutes that I had sleep. If we click on here, this is gonna show me exactly in the hours of sleep, when was I awake or when did it detect awake? You can see that I have 11 total minutes of being awake. We click here, this is gonna show kind of that light sleep. It's not the REM, it's also not the slow wave, right? It's basically in between those REM and slow wave cycles. Next, we're gonna click the REM. The REM should happen later in the night, right? Or early in the morning, I guess I should say. And so you can see here, right, a lot of my REM sleep was early in the morning. If we click here, this is gonna show slow wave sleep and slow wave sleep is usually going to be in the beginning part of your night. So these are good to be able to know. Remember, REM is the balancing of the chemistry in the brain. So basically taking short-term memory and making it long-term memory. So if you were studying uh, something, you want to make sure that you get that REM sleep so that it sticks and stays. Or if you're learning a new skill, you wanna make sure you're getting a lot of REM sleep so that it sticks and stays. Slow wave sleep is for the body. So that's gonna be recovering anything that that's going on with the body whether that is recovering muscles from a really tough workout right uh, growing hair nails so on and so forth then you have these other tabs here at the top right different disturbances that that took place you're going to see that there's little arrows up up and down right i had more disturbances than i usually do at four that's why you see the red arrow that's up my efficiency so how well did I sleep was at 98%, which is up, and then also respiratory rate, right? That is, was down, which is how many times um, am I taking a breath in a minute? So those are the different kind of stats. We can play around with these more, but I just kind of wanted to show you that it's important to be able to look through these and know, hey, not only how much sleep did I get, but what was the efficiency of it? If you guys have any questions with this, feel free, reach out to me, let me know. Have a killer day.